hello hello welcome on in everybody i am all right if you enjoy this content i would appreciate it if you like and subscribe i'm always told to remind people in the beginning because they always forget so if you would like subscribe i would very much appreciate it today we're going to jump into the shield maiden shield maiden is a pretty cool strong character uh we're going to smash enemies in a circular area in front of the shield maiden and then we're going to push she has sort of the special ability with the shield bash where she pushes away heavy enemies uh, push away even heavy enemies and deals damage based on block strength So we're gonna try to build up I guess block strength on this character and we're gonna be running uh, The new mode that I unlocked the shrine of torment. So we'll be running that Let's go check out our character and make sure that we get some like block strength on here um, I think I put sort of what I had. Let's see so we could do crit chance or just base damage um, Let's see Base block strength, let's do that. For the gloves, we have attack speed, burning, pickup range, spawns. Um, base defense and health, no, we're good with that. Chance to burn enemies, let's do our gatherer's charm. And then I need one more ring, so 50% crit chance sounds super good, right? Um, that seems almost too high. Um, unless I'm like reading this wrong, like it's 50% bonus out of like 10. So it's only going to give me like 5%. I don't know exactly how that's how the stats are read in this game. Um, so let's not take a chance and let's just do base damage here. And then I still have an empty mark. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go do the shrine of torment today and we're going to jump into, I guess the first level. Um, right, I'll just do the Haunted Caverns. So we'll start here. I did, um, I did do a run on this, and it definitely gets really crazy. <laughs> this is definitely a much, much harder mode. Uh, what's the artifacts? Oh, interesting. Um, I don't think we'll run that yet. Minus 10 minute runtime, spawn rates, and then movement speed. That's curious. Let's just run, I'll just run like a standard mode here. Okay, and then what do we want to do for our abilities here? Um, I think we'll go with, I would think the Astronomer's Orb is probably a pretty powerful one in this run, so let's do that. Okay, and then let's go get our ability down here at the bottom. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try to make her tanky. Hopefully we can get the double. I'm gonna try to buff this one up as much as we can. Um, the Astronomer's Orb, because I think that'll be a good one in this because there's definitely the block strength. Because there's, as, as we build up the agony levels here, it just gets way harder and harder. Okay, let's do strength or damage. Okay, let's do base health. This is definitely uh, the in-game modes here, though. I think there's one more. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, I wish I remembered the name of it, but I think it's a new mode that they add it for 1.0. Okay, let's do attack speed and damage on the weapon. But I have to buy... I believe I have to buy more items from the shop in order to unlock that mode. And I have not bought enough stuff yet. I've been mostly working on buying gear, but, er, uh, not gear, meta upgrades. So that's usually where most of my money goes for now. But I should start buying the units now that I've kind of officially beat the game, if that's even what you want to call it. But I've cleared all the main levels, you know? So now I need to work my way through the Shrine of Torment. Oh, there's no... I got I got all the herbs on this level, so there's no herbs on here. I was kind of hoping they would 
respawn every level, but I guess not. So I just need to go to the actual levels, different levels, and pick them up there. So I need to work on doing that, too. That'll probably be pretty helpful. I have... I've been working on getting... Um, I've been working on getting the extra wine bottles, so I have quite a few of those. Okay, let's do arcane splinters. Then I guess we'll work our way towards this magnet. Let's do base health. Okay, now we'll get some upgrades for this. This game definitely has some cool some oh wow, look at that, just three. <laughs> or two spell two spell scrolls right away. They definitely let you get more powerful in this run. Let's do... Let's do Spirit Warriors, this one. Spirit Warriors seem like kind of okay. They'll sort of just sort of attack, like, and then let's do the art. I always kind of wondered if the arcane rifts are good. I ran it last time, but I forgot to pay attention if the damage was good. Um, these ones are interesting though because Arcane Rift, you have to, you have to jump in it to, you have to jump on the thing to get the bonus. Okay, then let's do Ring Blades. I probably shouldn't have picked up all these abilities so quick though. Okay, we can do... Because now it's going to make it harder to get the upgrades. Because now I have five spells. <laughs> but, I mean, we do get... I think we get probably twice as many scrolls as you do on these ones than you do the other one, than the normal modes. So, we'll see. Okay, let's do... Arcane Rift again. Yeah, these arcane wrists are interesting because they don't do anything unless you jump in and trigger it to make them explode. I did take off the damage numbers too, so you're not going to see that anymore. It gets... Once the game gets going here at the end... Actually, I could probably... I could probably turn them on for now. Um, but let's turn them off later, maybe, I think. Because the game, when there's, I mean, I swear there's like 100 or 200 units on the screen at a time, however many they can fit. It's a crazy amount. Okay, well, I was making my way towards that magnet, but then I got another magnet. Okay, let's do that one for sure. I guess I'll head over towards the spell then. Let's go head over towards the spell instead. Then we'll loop back around for that magnet after. There's so much to do in this game, though. There's so much to... So many different quests, so many different modes. Um, there's a... <laughs> I think this game is... This game is pretty cheap, too, I think. Uh, right? <laughs> I think this game is only, like, $5, maybe? Is this game only $5? If it is, this is one of those games where, I mean... Even if the game was $10, it's... This game is so worth it if you like these type of games. Oh, this is going to be a rare item. How do I send these ones back up, though? Um, so they're boosts. So, like, 
see i have this ring right i have the crit chance one so are these ones not sendable can i just not send these up at all um that's what that's what i want to know like how do i get to send the the green ones up because i kind of thought oh maybe you need to have the base item to do it but that's not the case because you can just see i literally have that that ring in my stash so i don't i don't know do i have to have it equipped there there's a lot of questions i have here with that one because obviously the green items are way better way better than the standard ones And we're gonna be hopefully we're gonna be super tanky here okay let's do Blade size and damage. Okay, you drop a treasure chest, a basic one though. Oh, but you still have a green in it. Attack speed. Ooh. Um what else what, what do I have here? Just attack speed, so this is... Okay, so now here's the case, too, where I have... Um, I have the same ones, so I have the quick hand gloves, but, you know, I can't send it up. Why? Can, can green ones just not get sent up? Is that... I mean, I guess I'll equip that, too. Okay, let's do... So 100% crit chance, is that just for me? Because, right, so this this says I have 100% crit chance, so... Um, so what's, like, is that actually showing 100% crit chance right here? Yeah, see? See, I knew it wasn't going to be that. I knew it wasn't going to be 100%. <laughs> yeah, so it's just 100 per. That's exactly why I was... Um, that's exactly what I was talking about in the beginning. Because every game works differently, you know? Sometimes they'll say, like, plus 10% crit chance, and it's actually giving you 10% crit chance. But this is only giving you 100% crit chance of your base. So it's going to double it. Okay. Better understanding a little bit of how, how this game works. So that's why it's important to increase, like, your base damage and your base stats. But yeah, I, <laughs> I, that's why I talked myself out of like, there's no way this is going to give me a 50% crit chance. Every game always has their own different mechanics, though. It always gets so confusing too, jumping from one game to the next when you're so used to certain things. Okay, what do we got here? Plus attack speed, and then attack speed for every level gained with quick hand gloves. What is that? For? Oh, huh. I wonder if that's pretty good. We might get to, like, level 100. I don't know if that's better than just straight 60%, though. Um, spreads a random debuff. I think I'm going to keep this one, though, because I want that block strength. Plus... 0.3% attack speed for every level gained with quick hands equipped. 
I don't know how many levels we'll gain here. Um... Don't, I think it's better to just keep the 60% stat. Yeah, let's just... Well, I guess I'll pick an item. I'll pick this one. See, that's probably one of the items where if you have that in the very beginning, it's... It's super good. Let's do... I want to do... Man, I like all of these ones. Um, I wish I could lock stuff. Base block strength, 15. Okay, yeah, let's do this one. This one kind of gives me a little bit of both. That gives me more of the block strength and gives me weapon damage. strength and movement speed. I really like these shield maiden type characters too. I wish there... I don't know if there's an actual... Is, is there no paladin in this game? This seems like a, a game that is prime for a paladin. And I don't... I don't see one in here yet. I'm not sure how many more characters I have to unlock or if I've... I don't think I've unlocked them all. I'm not sure. Man, do I really not get an upgrade here? Um, oh, no, this is an upgrade. Explodes. They emit magic projectiles that... Let's do the Radiant Aura, though. I'm just going to go with that. Now we'll make our way towards. So we have we have like six spells already. Um. Let's see. Let's go. Sure. Let's go with the crit since I have that. I have that ring on still, right? So what did that upgrade do? Did that do my base, or was that my damage? Um. Crit chance. That might have been my crit bonus. I didn't actually pay attention. It definitely wasn't crit chance, though, because that was still at... That was still at 10 and 20. Okay, let's do... Arcane Rift. Let's do let's do the attack speed and damage. I need to pay attention too to how much damage my shield bash does at the end here. We've definitely taken some good block strength, but I wonder if it's worth putting a lot of points into. You know, like maybe it's I could be underestimating how much damage it's gonna do here, but it looks like it's doing pretty good, actually. Yeah, summons. Here we go. Summons an additional orbit lane that spins in the opposite direction. 100% going to take that for this level. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's do... This one's always tough to tell which one's going to be better. 25% damage or 10 base damage. I'm not really going to just look at the stats. I guess we'll do the base damage and crit. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the type to do all this crafting, though, in my head. 
especially in the middle of the video here so I can embarrass myself with how good my math skills are. Okay, we can do the damage and crit. Get some smaller balls. Um, let's do... I guess I'm just kind of evening them out, huh? Let's add two projectiles per cycle. course as soon as I get close to my as soon as I get well I guess I'm not that close but I was gonna say as soon as I get close to my magnet it it um drops another one okay let's do the see so like this 20% crit chance isn't giving me 20% crit chance it's giving me 20% of what my base is okay, we can do oh let's do this one I can do that one. I don't know who my favorite character is yet. I really did like the sorceress so far. Like, who who are the best characters in this game? Who are the strongest? Who are the most OP? Who would you think are the weakest? Uh, I'm really curious to know that. I Every character I've played has seemed fine. You know, I haven't really necessarily struggled with any characters. I've never really noticed any characters being particularly stronger than others either. I'm sure there are, though. Because I wonder, well, I mean, your weapons do usually end up doing just as much, if not more, than the abilities. So, let's do damage on the spirit warriors. The levels on these always confuse me a little bit too, like it's level 24, but you know I, I didn't put 24 level ups into that, how does the level ups work for these things? Level, let's do, do the attack speed and cone signs. Because a lot of these mechanics aren't explained to you, you definitely need to read more about it. Uh, let's do the plus rift. It's just going to drop more rifts on the map for us. Okay, we can do... Transforms damage from summons to lightning. Gives a 5% chance to spark on hit. Uh, I'm going to do the plus orb up here. So here's the, this one's going to keep popping up, I think. Um, I don't know if that's a good upgrade or not. <laughs> like, I guess technically it was pointed out to me last time that my orbs are technically summons. Okay, let's do the base crit bonus. Okay, let's see. Reduces the number of splinters, but they burst into smaller ones after a short time. The covered area and total amount of projectiles increases. 
Uh, they never stop moving. And they gain damage over time. Let's do the... Splits them into smaller ones. Okay, well now I have... Do I have anything I can return? Um, these I already have... Well, that's because I started out with those. I don't have any items I can actually send back yet. I should probably... Next item I get, I should probably pick one that I don't have. Or something I can send back. Because I need to... I need to keep buying items. 600 base damage? What? <laughs> that seems incredibly high. Okay, let's do straight damage. do damage on those guys again. I don't mind it decreasing the range like a little bit on these. So what's this? Let's see. Like, can I see the stats on this? Traits and abilities. Um. So yeah. So we gave it plus. Okay. So I guess when it has three thousand six hundred, isn't like a ton. Um. Right, because that was the one I gave it to the radiant aura. Okay, I'm gonna pick an item here that I don't have, so I can make sure to send it back. Um, do when not using main weapon for each burning enemy. Okay, let's do the not burning one and then let's head over towards the well. And that guy went down quick. Okay, so again, we're gonna get items here so. When moving, while moving, adds up to one half of your moving speed multiplier to your attack speed. Okay, how do I get rid of something? Um, and I guess I'll just get rid of that. Do you really want to discard? Yes. Um... I mean, that sounds pretty good. I don't know if that's better or not, but... We're gonna head over to this well and send it back. Um, okay, what do we need to do here? Kill these guys in the circles? That seems like a good upgrade. Let's do 
spirit warriors. Okay, then I get a fragment. So I think if I get another fragment, we make the boss weaker. Is that the deal here? If I find this other fragment. Okay, so we'll send you up. I guess you can earn multiple wells, too. Uh, <laughs> I did that the last time I did this. I killed some other unit, uh, some other elite hero, champion, whatever. And they dropped an extra well for me to use, which I was like, oh, sweet. Another 600 base strength. Let's do the block strength, though. I want to see if we can get more into shield bass because I want to see how good this actually is. Um, this is a tough one though. Is it going to tell me how much my shield bass does? Warhammer, shield bash, total damage. 867. Man, see, like, it gives you all the multipliers right here. Shrine Blessings, Traits, Damage per Block, no modifiers. Okay. that I can just kind of run through all the units right now. Okay, let's do... Oh, see, look, I, I just earned... <laughs> was that, that was an extra well, right? Yep. Just as I spoke of it. I don't think I have anything else I can send back up, though. So I'll have to do that again. Get another item I can send back up. Okay, and now the next question is, is what do you do? Like, what do you do in this situation? Do you, is it best to run around? You know, do I, I have, I just have so many questions about the strategies of this game. You know, should I be running around looking for gold? I know, I don't think gold increase in this game is, Like, I don't think you get a ton of gold by exploring the map, but you do get gold. So is that what I should be doing? Should I be running around the map, or should I just kind of be focused on just destroying all these guys? Because the more I move, the less experience you earn, you know? Because you, you have to rely on the magnets then, but... I can just kind of stay here in this one little spot and just kind of keep farming. I do need to try to find that uh, that other shrine, though, so I can get that other fragment. I don't know if they just kind of randomly show up as you're walking around the map. I guess I'll see if I can go find that other skull pile. Um, where was this boss? Did I kill him already? No, not yet. Okay, let's do the adds two per cycle. No, let's do the Fragile and Affliction.
Yeah, see how many scrolls you get? You get so many. Okay, let's do the orbs. It's just non-stop. It is cool, though. I really... <laughs> I like that, because when you do the normal mode, you get very limited upgrades. When you do these agony or... Shrines of Torment, whatever it's called, um... You can sort of get all your spells leveled up. I mean, we have, what, about 10 minutes left? We got, how many did we get? Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do... Like we got six spells and then we got five upgrades I think I'm looking at oh there oh man that's it 20,000 damage with shield bash that was that really it oh man <laughs> I mean, I guess the block strength is still fine because it's not just, you know, it's not just for the shield bash damage. You're still getting the benefit of shield bash or um, shield block because I'm barely even getting touched like in these fights. But yeah, <laughs> damage wise, I guess it's not worth it to put into it if you're going to try to turn it into a damage, huh? Should I do this again? <laughs> Less area radius. See, I don't even think I'm getting touched, really. And I, I mean, I honestly, I, I don't know enough about this game to tell you why. Um, I assume it's because I put enough points into block and defense and things like that, or maybe the enemies just aren't hitting me for whatever other reason. I mean, I did get hit a couple times there. Okay, let's do base defense again. I was gonna say, why is that one white? Okay, so definitely. Yeah, I need to get another item though. So I can just send that back up too. Because I earned my extra well. I wanna make sure I cash that in. I mean, maybe she'll drop one here. Okay, so we'll take... Man. So... <laughs> helps you locate refills potions every three minutes. See, but I can't send this up. Um, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna go with the items. So let's get rid of this. So I'm hoping when I get rid of this, like, it, I can still... Like, I still get it in the shop area, right? So and then I'm just gonna send stuff up that I don't already have this is not bad though um refill the potions but i only have i only have um let's just do the crit ones i only have the, the uh oh wait no that was three million where did that two hundred thousand come from i just did three million with shield bass what, what was i reading before okay either way let's send this up then we'll send this up. Because I just need to send items up so I can buy them. So 
I did 3 million damage. Is there a way to see DPS charts during the game? I don't think so. What was the 200,000 or 20,000? The, the one that we saw before. I'll have to... I'm going to look at that too. Was that a magnet? I was gonna say, what is this? Wait, what is this? What is happening? Choose an ability? Is this the same thing, but it's letting me pick between a ton of them? I'm confused what this is. At the, I guess it is, huh? Hold up. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's just letting me pick between a bunch. I don't think I've seen that before. See, this is where... Okay, I'm going to turn the numbers off because <laughs> this is where the numbers start getting a little... a little too much. Like, my eyes just start going crazy seeing all the numbers pop up. Orbs travel around the spirit warriors and damage enemies. That seems pretty cool. Or they, or these ones, they can explode. Let's do the orbs. Increase agony ranks 10 times, okay. So we're officially at max rank now at agony five. My DPS was definitely better in my last run I did. I, I just ran as the basic swordsman last time, but I, I do feel definitely a lot tankier in this one, which I guess is the point, right? sense that the shield maiden would maybe be less DPS compared to other characters. Uh, so here's an upgrade for this one. So we'll just take that um, and then equip it. Oh, that seems like that would have been a good one to get earlier. left here.
Yeah, I can just walk through these enemies and just barely take any damage right now. Uh, sure. Let's, let's just thrive on our defense right now. Two and a half minutes left. Uh, all these. Okay, let's do. I want to see what what ability here is going to be doing the most damage to at the end. Because I have, let's see. Well, I guess the this one right here, the arcane rift, is the only one that doesn't have an upgrade. This has two, two, one, one, one. But I kind of, I guess. I've been kind of leveling them up evenly, it feels like. Let's do, I guess, base damage. I definitely haven't completed as many quests this run either. I think it's because I kind of did a lot of them the first time I did it. You know, that's when I got all the damage uh, quests done. I think for the most part, I have a lot of the quests done on the spells, the individual spells too. Okay, another, man, how many are we gonna get here? So this is probably better. Um, I wish it would tell me how much I've earned, but I'm assuming I haven't earned 20 because I just picked that up. I think we've only, man, how many quests have even popped up here for being complete? Five, maybe? Getting the agony leveled up ten times, my class-based stuff with shield dash and shield attack. Um, that's really been it, huh? Because, I th again, I think I reached all the markers for... Oh, I think I reached all the markers for... Um, all the damage and stuff the last time I did this. I wonder if I can... I, I mean, I probably shouldn't try to face tank him, but I don't know if that's even possible. gonna keep dodging him he's relatively easy enough
But yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, Agony 5, first map. Uh, cleared it pretty easy, right? <laughs> um, I don't know how much harder it's going to get. I assume it's going to get harder and harder as we move through the maps. But yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Do you want to finish your run? Yes. Okay, so let's see kind of what did the most DPS over here. Yeah, these guys. These guys are so good now. Uh, oh, you actually did more. 23 million. Okay. So, you, man, that's actually kind of surprising. 23 million for you. 21 million. My shield did 6 million. I guess that's not bad. My clutch, my warhammer. Oh, my shield bash almost did as much damage as my actual weapon. 11 million for you. Man, only 4.2 million for the this guy, huh? Um, burn damage, radiant ore did 12 million. And then what was that extra spark damage? Yeah, yeah, man, I only did four quests here. So I got a shield maiden trait and then a bunch of gold. Definitely not the best uh, run here for, for acquiring gold. Okay, I'm just going to go buy a few more items okay. here. I'm going to just buy the cheapest ones. So we'll buy you. You. I wonder if those count. I wonder if the wine counts. Uh, buy you. And then let's buy the 6,000. You. No gold, no deal. Okay, and then I probably don't really have enough gold here to do anything... Other than like burn damage and frost, which I'm not really putting too many points into right now. Pick up range, I could probably hold off a little bit too. Okay, and then let's go let's see what I have here. So now I have, I have three rerolls. I thought I would have four with that wine bottle I just bought. Oh well, maybe it was three. Okay, and then we'll see what items I have. We have these items. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're looking at. Oh, maybe the, was that other wine for one I don't have unlocked? Let me see. Greetings. Okay, it might have been. It might have been for a wine that I don't have unlocked yet. I'll have to work on these two. These are uh, maybe I should work on. I should definitely work on these next. Um, getting these extra bottles for sure. All right. Well, there we go. We did it. We did our Shrine of Torment, our first one complete with the with the Shield Maiden. Well, I guess down here. Let's actually pick the pick the class we played, and she can stand here. We did it with the Shield Maiden, uh, Agony Five. Super easy. Uh, I'm imagining it's gonna get harder later, but for the most part, that was a, a pretty cakewalk of a run. So the, yeah, we'll just keep going. We'll keep doing the harder difficulties. I'll try to unlock the other mode and i'll get the wine bottles and all that fun stuff so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these videos please like subscribe and i hope you have a great rest of your day